The U.S. makes headway in the battle against COVID-19, even though health experts believe that herd immunity could be unlikely, a growing consensus. New variants of the virus and vaccine hesitancy could make that feat a difficult one to achieve. Turo family medicine physician, Dr. Meredith Maxwell, joins us to look at that issue. So more than, first of all, good morning, more than half of people, adults, have, uh, have had their first shot, um, a little less in Louisiana. Um, it, we're, we're trying to get to the point where the virus can't multiply, you know, one person, three, nine, 27, it, suddenly it can't go to, to, I guess, basically herd immunity means it doesn't multiply by a factor of one. Right, it's basically a race. Um, you know, most of the population, when most of the population is immune to a specific inf infectious disease, there is an indirect protection or like a population immunity called herd immunity to those who aren't immune to the disease and the higher the level of immunity, the larger the benefit. So the more people who get the vaccination, the faster this will occur and the less likely the variants will have to mutate and become, um, you know, resistant to the vaccine. So it's really, you know, how fast can we get everybody vaccinated? So, so I mean, what do you say as a physician to somebody who comes in and says, look, I'm a healthy person. Uh, I, I'm, this, this kind of is going away a little bit now. I don't trust how quickly these things were made. I, I'm not getting it. I appeal to their sense of protection of others. You know, I, I tell them, you know, you're young. It might, it might be just like a cold or something to you, but it could hurt the baby in front of you in line or the older person in back of you in line. If you're asymptomatic, it could kill them. So, you know, and then these variants are getting more and more resistant to the vaccine. So we really need to all get vaccinated so we can stop the mutation and the spread. Is, is it possible the picture is better than it seems in the sense that, you know, you, you want 70 percent, let's say, that's the number. Maybe 50 percent are on their way to being vaccinated and maybe another 10 or 15 or, or 20 or whatever it is have a natural immunity because they had it already. And we, right. we're closer to the goal than we might seem. I really hope so, but it really also depends on how fast communities and states are opening up. You know how comfortable people are with kind of rejoining the population um you know so that's going to be a factor too so not just the vaccinations but those who are kind of depending on those vaccinated people and then going out into the population and kind of going on with their daily life as previous so there's a lot of factors um involved so i really want people to be careful and be mindful that you know the more people who get vaccinated the faster we can return to normal life all right, Dr. Meredith Maxwell, thanks for your time as always this morning. You're welcome.